Once again, I'm James Townsend with wellwise.org. I'm here with Adam Ismail. He is the uh, CEO, no. Executive Director. Executive Director of GOED, which is the global organization for EPA and DHA omega-3s. Uh, welcome, Adam. Thank and uh, I'd, I'd like to ask you a little bit about the organization. Who belongs to GOED? And are, are they, is it all fish oil companies or are there other members? No, it's, um, it's actually, we, we focus on the nutrients. And so it's um, companies who manufacture and market um, products containing EPA and DHA, regardless of where it comes from. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fish oil is the most well-known source, but there's also companies uh, manufacturing them, uh, the EPA and DHA omega-3s from uh, algae. Um, there's people investing in plant biotech sources, mm -hmm. so um, they're, they're trying to grow that in, in, so it's naturally in soybeans mm -hmm. and um, people doing yeast fermentation, things like that. I so, see. So really, we, we run the gamut of it. Um, uh, the krill oil is another? Is yeah, krill, krill is another source as well. Mm -hmm. um, to total, uh, you, there's roughly about 85% of the world's supply of uh, omega-3s represented in, in our association. So. Very good. So and approximately how many uh, companies? Or uh, we, Right now we have 80 companies 80. in the membership, okay. um, split between the, the refiners who provide the ingredients for um, Omega threes, um, and it, and also then the this food and dietary supplement companies that sell the finished products. There's a PCB lawsuit that has been filed here in California, uh, a, a lawsuit by certain environmentalists against uh, fish oil brands, uh, some of the big ones, uh, retailers. And I, I just wanted to hear what you might have to say about what this lawsuit is about and what the, what the response of the fish oil producers might be. Yeah, well, I mean, the first the first thing I would say is consumers shouldn't feel like their fish oils are unsafe. Um, you know, that there there's plenty of evidence that shows that, um, on the contrary, it, it's unsafe to cut back your fish oil consumption. In fact, there was a paper out um, in the, I think it was the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition that mm -hmm. found that, you know, not taking uh, EPA and DHA or not consuming EPA and DHA um, causes um, about you know, anywhere between 72,000 and 96,000 deaths per year mm -hmm. just from heart attacks. And you know the benefits of omega threes touch other things like brain health, eye health, things like that. So, so you know there 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 isn't a safety issue. Um, th this lawsuit is really um, centered around um, California's Proposition Proposition 65 mm -hmm. limits, which are really the strictest toxicological limits in the world um, for compounds. And and what the law says is that there, there's two there's two limits that matter there's carcinogenic activity and there's reproductive toxicity mm. and there is an established limit for carcinogenic activity for how much um, pcb you, you should be allowed to have in there and and you know the vast majority of the fish oil market meets those standards there's no limit set for reproductive reproductive toxicity and in fact california the, the state of california has given it its lowest priority in, um, in ter determining what, you know, what are the next levels they focus on because there's not a need for it. Um, and what the, this lawsuit is alleging is that because there's no limit established, you should just default to zero. So if a product has any PCBs in it at all, then it should carry a warning label. But, but what consumers need to understand is that um, PCBs are present in any agricultural product. Um, oh, is that right? Yeah, they, they're in dairy products, eggs, meat, you know, fish. You, you name it, um, it's out there, and and almost always in higher levels than what you find in fish oil. I see. So, so you know, the the implications of the lawsuit are that every agricultural product will have to carry a warning label. A warning label. Yeah, mm -hmm. even though it's something that people have been consuming safely for you know decades.